Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you corrupt your company's data file and need to restore the data from a local backup copy, you can as long as you created local backup copies. You must be in single user mode to do this. In addition, QuickBooks Desktop Pro requires you to enter or create a password for the administrator user before you can finish restoring a company file that contains sensitive data, such as credit card numbers, social security numbers, or FEIN information, for example. If you did not create a password for the administrator account before attempting to restore from a backup file, you will need to create one as part of the restore process. When you restore a company file, you overwrite your corrupted company data with the data that you saved when you created the local backup copy. You must then re-enter all transactions that occurred from the date you created the backup copy up through the current day to bring your company file back up to date. To restore a corrupted company file from a backup copy, select File, Open or Restore Company from the menu bar. In this situation, you want to restore your data from a backup copy. So select the Restore a Backup Copy Option button. Then click the Next button to continue. The next window asks where the backup copy you want to use is saved. Select the Local Backup Option button if using a local backup copy saved to your network or to removable media. If you saved the backup copy online using that feature, then select the Online Backup Option button instead. For this example, we will select the Local Backup option. After making your choice, click the Next button to continue. QuickBooks will next open the Open Backup Copy dialog box. Use this dialog box to navigate to and then select the local backup copy to use for the restore process. After selecting the file to use, click the Open button in the Open Backup Copy dialog box to return to the Open or Restore Company window. The Open or Restore Company window will then display the Where do you want to restore the file screen. Note that you can also reach this same screen in an alternate manner than the one described this far by simply choosing File, Backup Company, Restore Previous Local Backup from the menu bar, and then selecting the name of the desired local backup file to use from the side menu of choices that appears. Using this method also allows you to choose a local backup copy for the restore procedure from the menu bar and then jump immediately to this screen within the Open or Restore Company window. After reading the information within this screen, click the Next button to continue. You will next need to use the Save Company File As dialog box that appears to navigate to and select the corrupted company file to overwrite with information from the backup copy you just selected. After selecting the company file to overwrite, click the Save button to continue. If you are overwriting a corrupted company file, QuickBooks may ask you if you wish to overwrite the file. You can click Yes in the message box that appears to overwrite the selected file. Next, QuickBooks cautions you to be absolutely sure that you want to do this by making you type the word Yes into the text box within the Delete Entire File window, since you will likely be deleting the most current copy of your company file. You can type the word Yes into the box and then click OK to begin overwriting the corrupted company file with the data from your selected backup file. You must then enter the password for the administrator account into the password field in the QuickBooks login dialog box that appears, and click the OK button to finish restoring the company file. If you did not create a password yet, a sensitive data protection setup dialog box appears instead. You can enter a different name for the administrator account if desired into the username field. Then enter a password for the user into the New Password and Confirm Password fields. Then select a challenge question and enter your answer into the Answer field, and then click OK to finish restoring the file. Be sure to write down and safely secure the administrator username and password if you created one. You can then click OK in the information box that appears to tell you to change your administrator password every 90 days. Either way, after restoring the company file, you then re-enter any transactions into the company file from the time the backup copy was created up to the current day to make the company file current again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.